What's up you guys? It's Katie. Welcome back to Steel Spotlight. Today I'm actually feeling pretty good, which is sadly kind of rare. Um, I'm sorry, that feels too dark just to throw in the intro, but hey, um, <laughs> I did want to apologize for the fact that I haven't been updating social media too often. I feel like I've been so inconsistent over about the last six months. Um, I'm not going to get into it because like, I don't like being vulnerable and I'm bad at communicating so it wouldn't even come across effectively anyway but I really want to get back on track and just make videos that make me feel good and happy and hopefully you guys can share in that energy too and I figured the best way to do that is to take inspiration from pretty much the only thing that brings me joy lately which is of course my comfort anime Haikyuu. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I've been watching anime since around 2014, 2015. I mean, I watched it as a kid, but I feel like it doesn't really count who didn't watch Yu-Gi-Oh! and Digimon and shit. But yeah, actively seeking it out for around five to six years now. I've watched many a show in my time. And I gotta tell you, nothing has brought me the same happiness as Haikyuu. I don't know what it is about it. Like, I hate sport, so explain that to me. But yeah, pretty much this is just an excuse to be able to have a big chat in the comments. I don't have friends in real life, so I'm counting on you guys. Like, let me know who your favorite characters are, favorite teams, if you've got any headcanons for literally any characters, who do you kin? Um, I mean, even like the energy that I give off in my videos, who do I most remind you of, or who do you think I'd be friends with? I don't know. I feel like I'm just exposing the fact that I am very lonely, but... Um... <laughs> Whatever, let's let's get into the video, yeah? Yaho! Okay, we're starting out strong, in my opinion, with Seijo Elba Josai. For some reason, this outfit made the most sense in my head out of every team. I was instantly like, yes, I have to wear this. To me, they are like the most popular team, you know? And most popular equals most trendy outfit. So, of course, we had to pull out the pleated skirt and sweatshirt combo because, hello, this is literally everywhere. Like, you cannot tell me that, like, 10 Oikawa fangirls didn't rock up to the game unintentionally wearing the exact same outfit. But don't get me wrong, I still think this is such a cute fit. And I don't think it just suits going to support Oikawa. I think it actually matches the energy for the entire team, which they're not my number one favorite, but definitely up there. I feel like they are probably the most entertaining like low-key wish that they were the main characters because i feel like there's so much depth to the team but yeah i feel like the cute preppy popular sort of aesthetic definitely matches their energy well i do wish the sweatshirt was a little bit more vibrant to better match the color of their jerseys but i feel like it still works quite well and then other details i enjoy is the trim on the tennis skirt because again it leans into that like cheerleader being there as a fangirl sort of moment and we also have a little backpack to store any gifts you're trying to give <laughs> But yes, overall a very cute look and the most canon in my opinion at least. Um, before we move on to the next, I really just needed to get this off my chest. Seijo third year supremacy. I feel like they have the best friendship dynamic of the entire show. Like I wish I was cool enough to be a part of their clique. And also just wanted to give a shout out to Kunami because I feel like I see a lot of slander for him. But when you look at it, he's literally a mix of like Kenma and Tsukishima. And you guys love both of them. So... What's with the disrespect? Clearly moving on to the actual main characters now with my Kurasuno fit. This one was kind of challenging, not just because the color combo literally makes me feel like a pumpkin at Halloween, but also because there's like two separate energies within the one team. So it's kind of hard to condense it into just one look. I don't know, I might even try and come up with something a little bit funkier after this, but for now, this is what I'm working with. It almost is a bit sophisticated, classy, still has that soft girl feel to it with the lace and the cozy knit, but also almost has this retro 70s sort of element coming through as well. But yeah, I think this would be great for the third years, low-key also the first years as well, but I don't know, for some reason, I just want something a little bit more fun for the second years, you know? Okay, this is what I've come up with for my second Karazuno look and I've just thrown this together so I'm not too sure how I feel about it. I just knew I wanted to use these pants. I haven't styled them in ages. Typically I would wear it with white though so I don't know how I feel. Can't deny that it ticks that box of being a little bit more playful though so I feel like in that sense it's at least a winner. How do you pronounce Big Sister Naka? Because what I'm trying to say is 
this is what I'd wear if I was sitting in the crowd with her. If I was to have like any tie to Kurosano, I would want to be the middle Tanaka child and just like show up once and be like, yeah, that's right. There's more of us. I don't, I don't know where I'm going with this. Um, yes. So I'm actually pretty sure that Inarizaki is a bad bitches only affair, so this do be the fit. And I don't know, I'm getting very like chic, rich, like you wish you were this fine, baddie sort of energy. Oh my god, I already know that this video is going to be so annoying because it's just me badly communicating the vibe that I pick up from different teams. Like what is this? Um, hopefully some of us are just like on the same wavelength here. That's... That's what I'm hoping for. I really like wearing the blazer as a shirt and then using the harness to kind of secure everything in place. But as far as the bottoms go, I feel like you could go for any black bottoms you wanted. Um, actually, I feel like leather trousers would definitely be a move, but I really wanted to pull out these pants. It's been a while since I wore them, but I just am obsessed with anything two-tone, like half and half. I don't know, there's something about the asymmetry that I just think adds a little bit of flavor, you know? Also, can I just say for the last three weeks, I have really just had the urge to dye my hair like Kita, but I just am like, would that work in real life? I don't know. I don't know. If you guessed Shiro Torozawa as my favorite team, ding, 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 you are correct. Bonus points if you also guessed Tendo as my favorite character. <laughs> but honestly, love the entire team. I feel like they have so many layers to them. I know you might be thinking, Katie, this outfit doesn't really accurately represent the school. They're more of like a prestigious, shouldn't it be a bit more prim and proper? And I hear what you're saying, but you cannot convince me otherwise that the entire squad would not hype up this look. Like, I cannot explain the thought process behind this, but it just makes sense to me. Plus, this is just one of my favorite outfits at the moment, so why wouldn't I team it up with my favorite team? Duh. You guys know I've been loving the leg warmers recently, and I think it has up really cool with the fishnets as well, and I don't know, I'm still like jury out on the arm warmers. I feel like this might be a little bit too much, but yeah. And then the sweater vest and plaid combo goes without saying. I've been obsessed with it for like a solid two years now, and the fascination is just not dying out. So yeah, shout out to my fellow Shiro Torozawa stands. I could write an essay about all my favorite characters from this team, but I'm just gonna leave you with this. If I see any slander for Goshiki's bangs in the comment section, it's on site because the boy's got style, let him live. Honestly, I feel personally offended every time I see someone coming for him. I'm like, no, he's baby, okay? God damn it. Goshiki. Hi. For some reason, I have developed quite the soft spot for Daytech. I don't know, there's something about them being so raw, iron wall all the time, but you can clearly see that they're all just big softies, so I wish them all the best, Aone especially, and also I feel like their captain is just like criminally underrated. For the outfit though, I've definitely had to go back to basics, it's very simple, and the reason for that is this flannel shirt is literally the only thing I had that somewhat represented their colour scheme because it's green, but not green. Like, it doesn't matter how many times I watch the show, I still don't actually know what colour they are. Hopefully this shirt gets a pass though. I do like how oversized it is. Definitely plays into that cosy and comforting sort of feel that I'm trying to portray. For the base, I actually went with a white top and cream jeans, which is not a colour combination I would typically go towards, but for some reason I'm kind of liking it today. And typically whenever I opt for a more oversized casual ensemble like this, I'll team it up with a pair of platforms and a bucket hat. I don't know why. Always just makes me feel more confident in myself. Can I hear it for my fellow Ken McKinney's? Have you drunk any water today? Because I have not. But yes, this is definitely the sort of fit you could expect to see me in, in like the middle of winter, peak hibernation where I've sadly had to leave my house for food, but we're spicing her up just a little bit. I've mentioned this before, but I'm not typically someone who like relates or kins characters very often. The Uchiha clan in Naruto is pretty much the only exception. Actually, I'm kind of feeling like that says more about me. I have like an inability to even register what my own personality is. 
but I must say when I watch Haikyuu I definitely feel like a sense of comfort and relatability to Kenma and even Sam was like yes very like Kenma but also kind of Sugawara vibes anyway we've got the red black and white to rep Nekoma with the oversized sweatshirt and the track pants and I threw on this turtleneck but I'm kind of regretting it because it literally feels like I'm being choked. Accessorized with some chains and despite having my hair up at the moment, I think this would actually look really good with just a black bucket hat too. K -k -kuro -kuro -pointo. Okay, I was about to get changed into my next look and then realized I felt like doing another Nekoma outfit for no apparent reason, but here we are. If you wanted something a little bit more cutesy, a little bit more dressed up, this would be a good option. I don't know why I'm talking as though you're actually going to a game and looking for outfit ideas, like, what even is this video? <laughs> I mean, now that we're here, we may as well really just play into the escapism and delusion <laughs> of it all. I think this would be cute if it was like, you got cold and you had to borrow someone's oversized hoodie. Like, this only adds to the look. Um, I'm not gonna get up here and bash her like everybody else, but she need a lot of psychological evaluations. Not me literally having to Google the name of this team because in my brain I always just refer to them as the team Sakusa is on and at first I wasn't going to do an outfit for them. Um, green and yellow, not really my go-to combo but I see so many people going crazy for him on my For You page all the time that I just knew I'd be crucified if I didn't include it. So. Here's what I came up with. Honestly, I think that this is the most realistic if you are actually to attend a sporting event. I mean, not my wheelhouse of expertise, but I feel like this is very comfortable, very relaxed. I definitely ended up introducing more black into the outfit than what their original uniform represents, but I did try to keep the shades of green and yellow quite light, but it's still not as vibrant as theirs. And also I am not doing a look for the name of their team is also escaping me, but the snakes, they too have green and yellow, but a lot deeper and richer, almost like a gold and green. Very Australian, actually reminds me of my primary school uniform, which is probably why I was like, let's just steer clear of that one. Like this is already pushing me out of my comfort zone enough. And if you guys also struggle with this particular color combo, hopefully you can still get some inspiration from the overall silhouette and pairing of the items. Same goes with all of the outfits. You can kind of take a particular look you like, switch out the colors to represent whatever team you want. One of the biggest disappointments for me is that we do not spend more time with Josenji. I swear, if they got more screen time, they probably would end up being number one team for me. I just love their energy so much. The colors paired with my poor choice of stripe definitely leaves me feeling like some sort of funky bee, but I'm still feeling it. I wanted it to be a little bit playful with my choice of just over accessorizing. And rather than teaming this mustard yellow with white, which I believe is more similar to their uniform like their libro wears white right but anyway i wanted to team it with black and just kind of keep it a little bit more spicy because hello tongue piercing this is where my brain led me i really thought that the shirato Ozawa look was going to be my favorite but now that we're coming to the end i actually think i prefer this outfit once i have it on this is like classic me with the vest and just too many chains <laughs> First of all, just my sincere apologies because I have choked. Um, does anyone else have this problem? I feel like this is literally the easiest brief of the bunch, but for some reason, my brain just cannot get it together right now. So <sighs> the only thing saving me is the fact that everyone's favorite himbo is bound to hype you up no matter what you wear, unless maybe you wear like the opposition's colors, then he'll probably be in like sad emo mode. <laughs> Obviously, I was trying to incorporate the black and the white and then also this like yellow slash gold slash beige kind of trimming that they have as well. I figured the easiest way to include that trim would be through jewelry, but I was also thinking it might be cute to try it with the little beige sweater vest as well. I was apprehensive because I have already done a sweater vest in this video, so I didn't want it to be too repetitive, but... I don't know, I do think I would enjoy the outfit more if I added this. Yeah, I definitely feel like I prefer this personally. Like the gold jewelry was taking it to an early 90s tacky sort of era. So I definitely prefer this. Also the crop of it kind of reminds me of the little bibs that they have to wear when they're doing practice games. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Also, 
adding glasses. I don't know how well this comes up on camera because usually the lights just reflect off them and it looks ridiculous, but I like. Those were all the teams that I've come up with looks for today though. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for just letting me film this because honestly, I feel like this was more so for me to just get a bit of a serotonin boost and I am feeling good. I'm excited to talk to you guys in the comments about any and all characters so please hit me up and if for some reason you're still watching this and you're like damn I like anime but I don't watch Haikyuu don't worry I have previously done anime inspired lookbooks and I'll be doing more along those lines in the future where I mesh together a bunch of different shows so hopefully there's something that fits your taste but yeah I'm gonna peace out now thanks again for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys next time or maybe over on my Instagram at steal the spotlight bye